To balance this equation, sodium chloride plus sulfuric acid yields sodium sulfate and hydrochloric acid. Let's take and add up the atoms on each side of the equation. We have one sodium, we have one chlorine, we have two hydrogens, and here I've written the SO4 just as one thing. We have an SO4 here and an SO4 here, so we can just call it SO4, and we have one of them. On the product side, we have two NAs, one Cl, one hydrogen, and one sulfate. So everything is the same except our NAs. So we have the sodium atoms, Na, they aren't the same, and then the hydrogen, that's not the same. Let's fix the sodiums. If we put a two as our coefficient in front of NaCl, that means we have one times two, so we have two sodiums, and then one times two for the chlorines, and that will balance out the sodiums, but now our chlorines, they don't add up quite right, and our hydrogens are still a problem. Let's fix the chlorines. We have two here and one on the product side. If we put a coefficient of two, we now have one times the two for our chlorine, and that'll solve the chlorines. Those are equal. And the hydrogens, one times two. That'll give us two. And we are done with this equation. Everything is the same on each side. We're obeying the law of conservation of mass. That's the balanced equation for NaCl plus H2SO4 yields Na2SO4 plus HCl. This is Dr. B, and thanks.